Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Junkyard Truck. So as you can see, we are right here at the Moonshine Silo, starting off the episode strong. Um, we have everything we need right here to start making moonshine. We can actually get our truck up here for once. Fucking great. Um, so essentially what we need to start doing right now. Oh, just drop it in there. No. Oh wait, this bucket. Right? I don't know what to do. Hold on. I'm confused. Set the plastic bucket. Not really. Uh, I'd assume. Oh, you need to put the. Wait. I'm confused. What's going on? Do I need to close that? No. What in the hell? What did I just tell oh, that? Well, it's not. It doesn't seem to work very well. Uh. Do we need to put the bucket lid on first? Oh, damn it. Nope. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Can't just be simple, can it? So it says, put cornmeal sugar and yeast into plastic bucket. So... Not really sure how we we're supposed to do that. Oh, just drop it in there. Two pounds of cornmeal. So we'll get two pounds of cornmeal. Drop drop it in nope. Hold on. There we go. Six pounds of sugar. That is a lot. In fact the store doesn't even carry six pounds. I had to go to sleep and come back to get six pounds, so kinda of bullshit. So, is that six pounds? No, that's five. Six pounds of sugar. And then one packet of yeast. Grab one packet of yeast. And make it into the bucket. And fill the bucket up with water. I don't know if I filled that up with water. How do I know if I filled it up? I don't know. Isn't did I don't know? Did I do it right? I mean it's sitting in the water, I don't know. I'd assume that that it has has water in it, but it doesn't look like it does. Fill the bucket with water. I don't know. I just want to leave it. I don't know if it's. It doesn't. <laughs> doesn't look like it has water in it. I'm not sure if there's any specific way I'm supposed to do it. I mean, these these two hoses have water going into them, but I can't really do anything with them. It's a little bit more challenging than I thought it was going to be. Do we need to come down here where the water is not a river? Man, I don't know if there's water in here. Whatever. We'll leave it, I guess. Hope to God that it's got water in it, even though I don't think it does. We'll come back later. Um, until then, though, we have a new mission we can do. Thank the Lord. From the guy that said he'll have a mission for us tomorrow, like, two weeks ago. So apparently it's finally tomorrow. Also, this truck's a goddamn monster now. This thing just fucking doesn't give a shit about your feelings. Imagine what happens when we get the V8 in this bitch. Oh, other than that. Yeah, we're good. That's the second time I've done that. Pretty good. Washer stays in the back though, so we're chilling. So it cost me about $150 to set that up, right? I think. Well, actually, I don't know. I bought the propane a while ago, so it's just been sitting outside the gas station since I bought it. 
Oh. So I think this, uh, I think this mission is telling us to go to the mine. Because the mission was called Steel Beams. Or Iron Beams, I don't know, something like that. I think I'm making up this hill. Hell yeah, brother. Let's get it. Oh, don't go over the hill. <laughs> okay. So, we just have to go talk to our man over here. This guy. He talked to you. No? Was it this guy? What is that? Oh. Well, here's two pounds of my core, or my uh, sugar and one pound of uh, cornmeal. Oh, are these still be? Oh, Lord. What you need, brother? Got this pallet of steel beams I need hauled up to one of my towers. That's it? That's that's all you're gonna that's all you're gonna tell me? Nothing else? Sick. I got you, homie. Got a washer in the back, but uh I can just, I'll just set this to the side, you know. I'm assuming it'll stay there. Well, let's stay back here. I don't feel like the bed's big enough for this. Eh, good enough. Fits pretty well, I'd say. We already got it tracked. Which one is that? Ooh, I don't think we've been to that one yet, have we? I bet I can do it, though. This thing's a monster. Maybe that's where the V8's at. So you, you have to find the block for the V8, so you can't just buy it. Because I was contemplating just buying the V8 and never even doing a four-cylinder on the truck, and then I realized that there was no V8 inside the store. The block for the V8 wasn't inside the store. So, uh, you have to find it somewhere. And I'm assuming that somewhere is on one of these dirt roads. That we haven't explored yet. And we haven't really explored this one very much. This is where we took the nuke. I don't even know where the road starts. It's the left. This, this path is very, uh, non-existent. Oh, wait, is that it? Well, there's two different paths, I guess. We're gonna go to the left. We haven't been over to the left yet, so... The first time for everything, bitch. I should move my mic away a little bit. I keep fucking hitting it with my mouth. We're tilting a little bit. Oh! That didn't sound good. Lord. Radio towers are up there. We gotta go around. Good thing we're in one of the best trucks around. So I'm assuming the nuke stays over here. We can just grab it and take it back to our house. Also, when you... I feel like some of these maps don't really work very well. They're like, depending on some locations you're in. Uh, what the hell is going on? There's no reason I shouldn't be making it up this, unless the pallets are making it harder. Which I guess is a possibility. I'll walk these fucking pallets up there, bitch. You think I care? Come on. Don't fail me now. Farther up we can get, the better. I'll walk these bitches up the rest of the way. Is this it? Oh shit! I don't know if you stop the steel. I don't know if the steel pallets are making it so I don't or I can't get it up here, or if the game's just being stupid. But either way, we did it. Get fucked. We did it. Hello? What's here? Why is the objective not going away? It's up here. Oh, can we not climb up this? I can't climb up that? Alright, what does this mission say? Uh, deliver the pallet. So let's track it. It's not tracked for whatever reason. 
You know, this is just worrying me. I don't want to have to go all the way back and then have it not complete the quest. Drop right on. Oh, that wasn't really right on top. That's that's where you want it, right? Throw the pallet of steel beams to the tower. Unless my truck's supposed to be up here with it. I honestly might be able to get it up here now if that's what was limiting me. Uh, that is a steep fucking hill. My lord. Where did this path go? Go back down the mountain? Is that where the nukes at? Well. Fuck man, I don't even know if the truck can make it up that. That is a, that is a lot steeper than I <laughs> kind of thought it was. I can try though. So let's try to get a little bit of a running start here. Fucking sander, bud. Oh yeah, the still beams were still beams were limiting me quite a lot. Big shit. Oh no 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 no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was rough. I thought my truck was about to go off the side. Maybe it has to be in the bed when we pull up. Like this? <laughs> it doesn't look like it. Well, the only thing I can really do is just throw it right there and fucking be on my way. I think I'm just gonna drive off the mountain. Here we go. Oh lord. Oh, we're chilling. Not even a problem. Okay. All right, buddy. I got your still beams over there. Thank you. Oh. Here you go. I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting it to complete the quest. Three hundred bucks. Hell yeah, brother. Um. <laughs> not a. Uh, not real sure what else we have to do. Honestly. We can go find the V8. Actually, let's go up to the mines. We should go up to the mines. That'd be pretty cool, right? Actually, I feel like we've gone everywhere but the mines. Maybe that is where the V8 is. Hey, yo. Also kind of... I don't know what the, the thing over there is. Should we try that? Let's try that. We got 50 bucks. I, did, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Since a farm, if you want to race, entry is $50. What you got on this bitch? Ooh, you got VA, homie. Well, that's kind of a... That's a distance, ain't it? Sign here. Christ! <laughs> oh! Fucking Christ! Homie, you're slow. Get out of the way! Fucking loser. <laughs> Dude. Holy shit. Oh. I don't think I've gotten that scared during a fucking horror game, lord. Loud ass noises. This is easy, I wasn't expecting to be that fucking slow. Bro, I'm dusting the fuck out of this guy. He had a whole ass trophy truck and here I am just fucking gapping the shit out of this man. We're gonna have a trophy for our trophy case now. I guess we were honestly probably supposed to do this a while ago, so we're probably doing it a little later than we should have. I would assume they get harder as we go on. Man's getting gapped though. Tell you what. So this is gonna be one trophy for the trophy case. 
because I can already tell you I won. No problem. Right through the mud. Like, dude, this thing, this thing's a monster. Oh lord. Okay, we're good. All right, here we go. More mud. Got it. More mud. Not even a problem. All right, turn around. Wait, where's the road at? Oh, oh god, I'm pressing random ones. Wait, how's your right? Wait, 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 wait. Where am I? Fuck, I took the wrong road. He's in front of me now. Shit, he's in front of me. I took the wrong road. Are you serious? I would have won for sure. Where is the... God damn, is he gapping my ass now? Where is he? Well, this man's putting me to shame. Unless he's not actually in front of me. I swear he is, though. I swear I saw him get in front of me. But there's nobody he's that far ahead. Oh, yeah, he's all the way up there. Shit. All right. This is where we get, catch him. Come on, buddy. You're slow on the roads, bitch. I see you. Shit. And that's where we lost. Fuck. God damn it. Actually. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! I won that. Fuck you. Yes, sir, I won. <sighs> Tree again on a today. I won that, pussy. I could have won that if I took the right fucking road. Give me Come shit. Back tomorrow. You fucker. You're a bitch. Ain't nobody like your ass. You're a bitch too, ghost driver. Oh shit. It's fucking blinding. Can you get the fucking engine in here? What is this? Why is there a buck in here? Can I take off the fucking lid? There's nothing in here. Get the fuck out of the theater. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, we just got the, yeah, I got the V8. I was wondering what this fucking shipping container was. Apparently this, this is what it is. So uh, now we have the V8 block. That's pretty dope. Um, we need to go home and sleep and I might go to the moon train place to hopefully see if it is done. That'd be pretty cool, right? Oh, that doesn't seem like it wants to stay back there. Um... I've came across that shipping container multiple times. Never, never looked at it. Oh my lord, I fucking swear to god. Never really uh, looked at it to pay attention to what it was. Apparently it had something I was looking for in it. I thought you found the engine block inside of like a junkyard car like I did with the turbo manifold. I thought maybe just driving around you would find it. No. It's just been sitting at a place that I have been next to multiple times and never noticed. So that's that's pretty dope. We're going to go throw this at our house. We're going to go to sleep. And then we are going to go back to our tobacco farm and see what's going on over there. We're going. Okay, he's not driving. I hope I didn't just get a false start or some dumb bullshit like that. Because, yeah, he, he ain't going nowhere. He, he's just sitting there. Oh, the guys, I'm going to get back and be like, yeah, you cheated. You lost, bitch. You suck. I'm just hoping the game's broken and he's just can't move. I mean, that's a very good possibility. This game is very, very broken. There's been a lot of glitches happening recently, and it's been quite irritating, honestly. I've had my car inspected, and there's nothing wrong with it, so I don't know why it's not performing like it did before. 
because uh, when I first put the transfer case and everything in, it was fucking a monster. Not anymore. <laughs> I thought maybe like the turbo was fucked and something, you know. No, the car's all good. We're we're chilling. Ain't nothing wrong with this fucking thing. But hopefully next episode we'll have the new V8 in. I'll uh, swap this shit. Yeah. I don't really think I need to hurry because I'm pretty sure I've already won. I said that last time, but I don't think he's actually driving, so that's why I'm saying that now. If he had not yet won already, or if he had not... If he would have been driving when I left, is what I'm trying to say. Ah, that's where I need to turn. See, I went straight right there last time. I lost quite a lot. I would have won 100% if I took that turn. No doubt about it. I mean, I, I literally almost won while taking that wrong turn. If that doesn't tell you how uh, close of a race it was, then I don't know what, what will, you know? I just hope I didn't get like a false start or some stupid bullshit like that, because I'll be kind of upset if I did. Guess we're going to find out here in a second, though, because we're getting close to the end. Haven't seen him in front of me. We're almost there. Come on. Climb the hill. Bet you're really struggling. Up we go. This is going to go to the right and then to the left. So you also would have won if I didn't hit that fucking tree last time, which I almost said again. This thing's just not meant for racing, man. And he's still here. Hey, I win. Good job. Yeah. This is for you. That's what I thought, bitch. The trophy? Hell yeah, brother. Got a trophy, man. Look at this shit. Come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Put this bitch in my truck. Hell yeah, brother. Come on. Come on. There we go. Fuck yeah, bud. Look at that. We got a trophy. I think it's facing the wrong way. Hold on. Yeah, it's, it's facing the wrong way. One sec. I got to... Oh, okay. Is it not facing the right, wrong way? Is that the way it's supposed to go? Okay. Look at that. We got a trophy in our trophy case. Holy shit. So, uh, right now I am going to just sit here and go to sleep until our moon shrine ferments. And then we will, uh, go get the moon shrine delivered and see how much money we can make off moon shrine. Not sure how long it takes. It's been about a day. Go to sleep again. Go to sleep again. See, I can't, I can't tell. I can't tell. It's not looking different at all, so I'm not sure. Not sure if it is supposed to look different. Or if it's done, maybe. Hell yeah. All right, so now we got the stuff in there. Um, pour the buckets into the cook keg and close the lid. Turn on the gas burner, connect the car battery and the cooling pump. Fill the jars with the output vet. Is that right here? I don't know where the output vet is. I'm just going to turn that on. So that's plugged in. Not really sure what's supposed to be happening here. Where the fuck did that just go? Okay, well, I guess I don't get instructions anymore. That shit literally just disappeared, so... 
I clicked E on it and it vanished. Alright. I mean, I can hear it doing something. Can't promise it's doing something, but I can hear it doing something. So there's nothing else for me to interact with, really. So I would assume that I'm good to go. I hope. Like I said, I don't have instructions anymore. Alright, we made one crate of uh, moonshine. So we're gonna come sell the, to this guy over here. Is that note over here? I don't see the note. I literally don't know where the hell that thing went. The instructions that I had are gone. I don't even know where to put this. Hey. Where do I put this? Nobody's told me how to do anything. Hello? I don't know where to sell this. None of these fucktards will talk to me and I don't even think I have a mission for it. Nope. I do not. So I'm not really, uh, not real sure what I'm supposed to do here, huh? Let's say somewhere right here. Take her, oh, no, not that one. Um... No, where's the moonshine one? Not that one. I don't know who the fuck to sell it to. None of these guys will even talk to me. <sighs> Which one of you fucks are the owner, huh? I think we might sell it to him. I swear to God. There you go. I'll set it down next to you like that. Ah. What? This isn't moonshine. Get out of here. The fuck are you talking about? He gave me fifty bucks. Hey, look, bud. Let me know when you get some moonshine. I just gave you some moonshine. You didn't like it. Dumb motherfucker. I'm assuming the battery was dead. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I probably gonna call it there. I'm gonna go see if I can do another race, but I don't think I can. I drove by and didn't see a trophy sitting on the table, so I'm not sure. Uh, that's unfortunate. That was that was a huge waste. I lost money on that one. So. Gonna turn around just in case. Oh, I don't see I don't see a trophy anywhere. Oh my lord. Just in case, I'm gonna leave it running. Gotta have that head start. Yeah, there's no trophy here. Since the farm, if you want to race, entry is fifty dollars. You don't have another trophy for me. I'm not racing if you don't have a trophy. Fuck you, bitch. You don't even give me anything. The trophy is the only thing you give me. Well, I guess we're going to call the episode there then. <laughs> ah, been recording for a really long time. Oh, so next episode, we'll definitely get the V8 in the car for sure. Shit's going to be lit. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And if not, then please tell me why in the comments. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Hella guilt delicious.